Like they say, the flesh might be taken, but the spirit and the soul are not taken. That's exactly what has happened to our lovely prophet, Prophet T.B. Joshua. R.I.P. to him. Him not being anymore has made so many people around the world not to feel happy, not to feel okay. But then we still believe when God says yes, no one can say no. God is the one that brought him to us. He's the one that took him away from us. So we can't question God. All we can say is to say thank you to God. You should rem remember, sorry, Prophet T.P. Joshua has always wanted people to continue spreading the gospel, continue spreading the good news of God, whether he is there or he is not. So that's one thing we can do to honor him, continue spreading the word of God, continue helping people the way he helped people. He helped the widows, the widowers, the orphans. He helped people around the world, the age and the non-age people. He was known for his good acts. So let's keep these good acts going. Let's not think it's the end of everything. It's just starting. Everything is just starting because God is the one that gave him the mandate. God has still given the mandate to another person in the church. It could still be his wife or any other wise man or man of God. So let's keep doing the good work. He is gone but he is never forgotten. So guys, it might interest you all to know that yesterday was a candle procession for our one and only prophet T.B. Joshua who passed on just last month on the 5th of June 2021. So yesterday was a candlelight procession for him. In honor of him, in honor of all the good things he's done, in honor of all the good memories we had with him, in honor of all the nice times we had with him. So yesterday at 6.30 p.m., viewers all over the world, including people in Nigeria, decided to turn up for this candlelight procession in honor of our prophet, Prophet C.B. Joshua. In this um, candlelight procession, we acknowledge the fact that he may be gone from our sight, but he is not gone from our hearts. He may be gone in the flesh, but he is not gone in the spirit and in the soul. So we recognize the fact that God took him for a very good purpose. It might interest you all to know that while at the candlelight procession of Prophet T.B. Joshua, we all know candles normally it might touch something and we will that will lead to flames or something like that. So one of his candles actually got lit up with some like some tablecloths that were used there. This got so many people, many people were like, Oh my god, what's happening? We hope it's not going to be serious. We hope um so many things are not going to happen here. We came here for Prophet T B Joshua. We hope no other person is going to be gone too. So with all those things, a lot of social media has been spreading the news that it got to, the flames got to the entire building, like the entire church of Prophet T.B. Joshua was down. It's a very, very big lie. It's not true. The whole church was not in flames. The whole church was not down. It was just a little candle that touched one of those tablecloths there that got lit up. We all know thousands of people gathered yesterday with their candle lights just to um, glorify Prophet T.B. Joshua just to acknowledge him, just to pay him his last tribute. We know when candles are involved, those kind of things are normally supposed to happen. So guys, bear in mind that all this news you are seeing around social media saying that the whole church was down and so on and so forth, it's not true. It is not true. Even when you get to light up candles in your house to sleep, most of the times it might touch something soft like a rubber. It might touch something like a cloth. That's actually what happened yesterday, but it wasn't something serious. We thank God because the whole service of yesterday went on perfectly well. Everything that went on yesterday was okay. The candlelight procession was top-notch. It was good. We happen to have honored our man, Prophet T.B. Joshua, for the last time. Even those around the world, they had their candlelight procession too. So tonight, you guys should make do well to turn up for another candlelight procession and for another tribute that will be paid live at Emmanuel TV. We will be broadcasting everything live here on this channel, so why not stay tuned and stay blessed. Thank you.